I'm going to sort of show on spraying a little. I haven't really talked a lot about it. I usually spray it about 35 pounds for the base coat. That's about as big as the pattern gets on this one. All right. When you first pull the trigger, air will come out. When you pull it the rest of the way, it opens the needle. You always want to keep the spray pattern flat to your surface. You're going to go about six to seven inches away from the surface to really do the best. And always keep it straight. Now, because this has a flat side up here, I'm going to angle the gun to hit that flat side first. If you notice when I'm spraying, you see how no paint comes out. You're going to use like robot motions. You want to be consistent. You want to have that 50% overlap. So when you spray, you've got this big a pattern. You want to move it down halfway, and that's overlapping 50%. And then let it dry between each coat. spray will get on them okay i'm using my other spray gun which is hvlp gun it's high volume low pressure and i'm spraying about 45 pounds i always check my pattern the same thing you want to take the 50 percent overlap when you're spraying and don't go too fast and don't go too slow you want a nice even way and watching how you put it on remember to keep the gun completely square same thing six seven inches away I'm going to spray the upper part first and then come down it and keeping the gun flat with the surface at all times. And the same thing is when you first pull the trigger, the air comes out. When you pull it farther in is when it opens it. And you never let the air stop because it'll splat. So you always keep the air going, but you can release it to stop the paint. If you see when I come to an end, I stop paint, but the air keeps going. Here we go. 